Alrighty boys, so today, I came up with a list of these paid access Roblox games. I will be playing these games, reviewing them, and then ranking them in a tier list. Oh yeah, and by the way, this video costed 1,040 Robux, so let's start off with Deep Woken. At just 400 Robux, you get a difficult game that features permanent character loss, engaging exploration, and challenging combat systems and mechanics. Upon entering the game, you can create your character. You can customize the appearance, weapon class, attributes, boons and flaws, and more. After I spawned in, it appears that I'm inside of Etrus. From here, I spoke to the NPCs, explored the area, headed straight to the docks, and set sail. Alrighty boys, let's get inside, let's go! Looks like there's a lower Eresia right here, I think that might be kind of useful, so let's try to go there. We're gonna go there and try to find some loot, right? And oh my goodness, chat, I think that might be some sort of treasure chest, right? I can loot it! Oh, it's Wayhander! Whoa, give me that! Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Look at this thing, chat. Look at it. And chat, we really don't want to die here, especially with our uh, new item that we have, this uh, Sway Hander. Also, if I'm pronouncing this thing wrong, I'm very sorry. I low-key think I can take one of them on, only one of them at, at, like, one at a time. Yep, he spotted me. Okay, this is good. This is good. I can bait him out in a heavy attack. Nice! Nice! Good night. Say good night to you too! And okay, this is already a lot better than my last gameplay because uh, I'm actually killing them. Nice, and then we try to run away. Watch this, we run away, right? Ooh! Got the parry! Got the parry! Please die already! Got the parry, please! Thank you! You scum! And yeah, now you're dead. Oh my goodness, my willpower has potential, guys. Alright, before we proceed with the game, let's talk about some of the gameplay. As you guys just saw, those NPCs attacked me. By using my critical attack, which is the R button, I was able to chunk them down. I also use a parry mechanic, which is the F button, to apply a small stun to the enemy. I also love the looting system in the game. It kind of makes you explore more, or maybe defeat the enemies to achieve them. I also love the equipment in the game as well, since they will help you greatly along your adventure. And alrighty, we are here at the Antiquarian, and uh, I'd like to sell something. Here we go. Let's say I click on a ruby, right? Sell one. I get six dollars. Okay, yeah, let me just keep selling these items. I think they're kind of useless. Let me sell all of these things here, all of these things here. And I think that's about it. So before we end the review of Deep Woken, let's talk about the other things that I like. The visuals of the game looks great. The characters, environment, and everything looks great. I'll say the audio is nice too. I love the parry sounds and the sound effects in the game. Let's talk about the story slash objective. I guess for now the objective is just to survive and pretty much be better than your last character's life. Overall, I think this game is amazing. And for just 400 Robux, the price is right. If I had to place it in a tier list, let me just put it in the S tier. And guys, our next game is called Zaibatsu Japan Roleplay. Starting at just 25 Robux, this game is a futuristic role-playing game set in Japan. Upon joining the game, you're instantly brought into the world. I feel like the main story slash objective to the game is literally just roleplay. As you look around on your screen, you have your currency, emotes, inventory, and your menu, which is pretty much your phone. With this phone, you can do many things such as customize your character, you can rent out properties, fast travel with a taxi, and view scenarios. And this will be very useful, since there will be many players that will post their role-playing scenarios here. And let me just show you guys an example right now. And okay, yes, yeah, so the sushi place is open or some vigilantes roleplay. I don't really know what that means. Chat, this person's hiring for IBN. What does that even mean? Let's just follow this guy. Wait. Oh, nice. It just travels to the player. This guy just says, and I'm a minor. Yo, no, I'm not messing with that, chat. I'm not messing with that. Hell no, bro. Hell no! I'm not trying to catch a case or anything like that, bro. Five minutes later. But okay, Auto Atomic is open. Huh? Oh, shoot. Yes, um, hello there, sir, or ma'am. L let me go over over here. Yes, guys, let me roleplay. Yes, let me roleplay. And oh, wait, I'm supposed to speak in grammar and do quotations. Um, yes, uh, hello. And I already spoke, uh, I, I can't speak today. May I have burger and fry? And dude, this guy's 14, dude. Oh, hell no. Dude, what is up with me in this game? 
At least this guy is 24. <laughs> that would be 50G. Like, bro, why is that so expensive? Chat, is there inflation in this game? This thing's $29. Yes, um, have a nice day. I'm gonna sit over here, right? I'm guessing it's in my inventory. Yes, here we go. And okay, can I actually eat in this game? That's actually so cool. Look at that. So aside from role playing, you can explore the city. And what better way to navigate the city is by driving your own vehicle. And from this vehicle dealer, you can purchase a car. Wait, chat, I can actually afford this one car over here. Look at this. Let me buy it. He actually customizes beater over here. Oh my goodness. Bro, chat, the skin over here actually costs more than the car itself. 12 seconds later. Oh my goodness, chat, I have a car now. Look at this. Look at this car, chat, this beater. Chat, my car is all beat up and everything. Oh my goodness. You know, for a beater, this car actually sounds pretty good. And okay, yes, here's the game right now. Oh my goodness, look at the city. Look at that view, chat. Look at that view. Alrighty, so before we end, let's talk about the other things that I like. Starting off with the visuals and audios, I think they're great. I really like the neon lights, not the flashy colors. And when it comes to replayability, I'd say this game is pretty replayable. And overall, I think this game is great. And for just 25 Robux, I think the game is very worth it. But if I had to place it in a tier list, let me just put it in an A tier. And boys, our next game is called Tower World. And not just 50 Robux, yet a game that features a diverse array of tower-based obbies, each with its own unique characteristics and mechanics. Upon spawning into the game, you're met with a tutorial. This tutorial teaches you the basic movements and mechanics to the game, and once you complete it, you're now in a world of Tower World. As you guys can see, you have a futuristic looking city, and also these teleporters here. And with these teleporters, you can start your journey. Ooh, bakery tower. I know this job's gonna be sweet. Love the voice acting in the game so much. But anyways, let's just go up over here on this obby. It's actually very easy to know where to go, because all these arrow indicators and stuff. But okay, let's see this area right over here. I'm guessing we can't go there, because like, we're probably gonna fall down there. So maybe I have to press this button, or maybe we press something. Nice, the box spotter. Put the box on the button, then it should be able to activate like so. There we go, nice. I actually really do like that mechanic a lot. And of course, collect all these coins, because some of them might be a little bit hidden. And let's just keep going, boys. You should know that they make online objects swap whenever you jump. And okay, these are the swap pads that guy was talking about, how if you jump, these things actually swap. Let's jump over here, then jump here, then jump here, cool. And dude, I love how that's a unique thing this tower has. Because every tower has something unique to it. So as you guys just saw, there are many mechanics in the game that kind of challenges you. Such as this box push over here, maybe this jump switch thingy. And I gotta say, this level in particular made me do some thinking. Rats tippy top, but uh, I gotta warn you, something big's coming your way. Oh my goodness, something is coming chat. It's probably a boss fight or something, right? A few moments later. And there he is, the Cake Master. Wonder what this guy's mechanic is. Oh, what? Okay, I was not expecting some random thing right there. Let, let's try to dodge that. And uh, what is this? I, I'm pretty sure there's like some sort of mini obby we have to complete. And then we uh, we click that one button there. Nice, and takes one damage. And okay, these rolling pins, we gotta dodge them. We gotta jump over them. Nice. Let's go here, let's go here. Like the button, that was very easy. Might have a second phase or something. Get harder, yes. You can't go on here, that's like lava. Nice, okay. There we go, just two more times, chat. I have half HP though. Nice, I got the timing down. Alright, the obby thing is also moving though, gotta be careful. We don't have to be careful too much, that's actually kind of easy. I think we did it, chat. We did it, boys. Let's go. And that's a bakery tower. Dude, that was actually a really good tower. I like that a lot. And just like that, we completed the game. Me, personally, I really love how the game looks. Compared to other tower games on Roblox, this thing is definitely next level. As for the game's difficulty, I would say the game isn't too difficult. And if you're into obbies, this game would be very easy for you. And for just 50 Robux, I would say this game is very worth it. If I had to rank it in a tier list, well, let me just put it in the A tier. And boys, our next game is called Blackout Revival. 
purchase 250 Robux, this game is a dynamic looter shooter where you scavenge, adapt, and engage with tasks in an evolving landscape. So once I joined the tutorial, it taught me the basic things of the game. It introduced me to the looting, the movements, the lockpicking, using weapons, and more. After paying the fee for the early access, I got into the game. And okay, I'm guessing this is the game. I'm currently uh, force fielded. There's also a guy all the way over there. I also see another player over here. Maybe it's some sort of NPC. Yes, let me talk to you. Oh, he's like an arms dealer. I think it's pretty nice, but obviously I'm broke. I have nothing at all. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Let's just go outside, try to like scavenge for some stuff, like loot stuff. Yes, this thing right here. Oh! I can't tell if I'm being shot at or something. Yo, are you okay? Oh, this guy killed him. Oh, hell no, bro. Hell no. Ch I'm looting in this game. Hell yeah. Nice lock picking, dude. Honestly, lock picking this game is actually so fun. But like, bro, if there's gonna be like some PvP action, I might be cooked because I'm actually kind of bad at PvP. But we have two good weapons. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, G17. We're gonna put everything else in our, in our inventory right here. Two seconds later. Hello, motherfucker. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm looting this guy's money. Dude, I feel kind of bad for doing that, but you know what? Uh, I don't care. Also, who's that guy right there? Um, excuse me, sir. These people are all NPCs, right? Bro, how much pop does that guy have? Oh my goodness, this guy. Dude, this guy. Hopefully nobody heard that. I'm pretty sure everyone heard that, actually. Okay, whenever you try to assassinate this person, you know what I'm saying? Like, go up behind him or something. I'm just going to be doing that. Cool. Dude! Oh, hell no! Dude, why, why are there so many of them now? That was actually very risky. I don't even know why I was there. Later. And okay, I'm currently with the fellow Bacon Brother right here. Hello there, sir. I actually have no clue what to do. I could kill this guy, but I really don't want to, because uh, he seems cool. Oh, and I just saw myself on my most wanted list. Maybe I should kill him, but I feel like people might try to go for me, you know what I'm saying? Also, wait, see a red bag here. That's probably a player. Thanks for the $20. Oh, who is that person? Okay, yes, that was actually someone. <laughs> and if I respawn here, right, chat? If I respawn here, I actually lose everything. I dropped 200 cash and 8,000 valuables. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that was Black Revival. And let's start off with a story slot objective at the moment. I think the main objective is just to scavenge and of course survive. As for the visuals and audios, I think it's great. I like how the game looks and how it performs. And when it comes to the difficulty, it might be difficult for some people. And overall, I think this game is great. And at just 250 Robux early access fee, I'll say the game is worth trying. And if I had to place it in a tier list, let me just put it in the A tier. And boys, the next thing we have is called Gotham Shadow. At just 75 Robux, you can play as a Dark Knight. So as you load into the game for the first time, you're thrown into the tutorial, which is very helpful. It helped me with the basic controls, movement, mechanics, and interactions. Afterwards, I was in a bat cave, and it looks like my current objective was to stop crime, so I headed outside and glided my way there. Alrighty, here we go, boys. Here's where the crime is. I'm guessing this is where we fight, because all the GUIs popped up. Okay, say less. See this guy over here? Really? Ooh! You guys are using one of those uh, blue attacks. I gotta try to counter it. Watch this. Got him. Very good counter attack. Oh, what? I think he hit them both at once. Nice. Oh, I hit them together! Chat, with these counter attacks, if two of them go at the same time, you can actually hit them both. Nice counter attack. Dude, I'm flying everywhere. Oh, grab these two. Bro! Counter this guy too! Oh my goodness, chat. The countering in this game is so good. They are a good counter. You don't have to be too close to the person. You just have to react to it. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Like that, see? I literally teleported to that person. And I teleported that guy too. Nice counter. There we go. I just completed my main mission. And I'm almost dead, by the way. I could have actually used one of my stim packs, but you know what? That's fine. 
But yo, I actually love the grappling in this game. But look at that. And what is my quest at the moment? I don't think there actually is a quest. So I'll actually click the M button. Looks like you can actually unlock a lot of suits in this game, but you need some uh, so you need some levels. But then you have this thing over here, the skill tree. This thing looks very special. Has enough have zero skill points. I'm almost level two. Dude, there's so many skills you can do in this game. Oh my goodness. Damn, you definitely have to kind of grind out this game if you want like all the skills and everything like that. Now let's talk about the things that I enjoy. Starting off with the visuals and audios. I think the city looks kind of good. And as for the audio, I think it's okay. As for the game's difficulty, I would say it's not that easy, but not too hard. And overall, I think the game is good. For just 75 Robux, I think the game is worth it. And if I had to rank the game in a tier list, let me just put it in the B tier. And finally, we have Steam and Steel. At just 240 Robux, you get a game that revolves around the operation of steam trains dating back to the 1800s. So once you load it into the game, you have some options to choose from. As a new player, I just started new, and I started a tutorial. It teaches me the basics of the game such as laying down tracks, operating a train, and selling cargo. I'm guessing we have to go to this one forest camp over here so then we can get some resources. But let's do that. Okay, we're nearing some sort of switch here, so let's actually put our throttle down. And at the moment, this switch here is actually going to the, the left side, right? We don't want to go to the left side, we kind of want these things to go straight up so then like we can uh, go this way. Let's go back, it should go straight. Nice. Then it's gonna go to this one area here. Okay, let's apply the brace very slowly. Alright, perfect. Let's get out. What is this one machine here? I'm guessing if we open the industry, you can kind of like collect the logs. So what if I click on load? I think it literally loads one log for me. Or something. I don't know. It's actually loading logs at the moment. Like, I I'm not doing anything, chat. We're gonna load as many logs as we can. And let's go, chat. Full throttle. Dude, this train actually looks kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I love how you just like literally hang off the side of your train, that's so cute. And okay, we're about to turn right now, hopefully we're not too fast. This thing might have some weight too, so that's why I think it might be a little bit slow. And alrighty, once we're here, right, let's apply these brakes like so. We're gonna hop out, then we're gonna unload all these things here. And dude, we're making money in this game, chat, we are making money! But here's the thing, if I go to the shop, right, I'm guessing I can upgrade my cart, so if I want, maybe I can buy another wagon or something like that. We can actually buy this thing for $9,000, dude! Let's actually try to make it like red or something, that looks so cool, let's purchase it. Oh shoot, chat, it's inside! Chat, this thing's inside! How do I remove these things, chat? How do I remove these carts here? I made a grave mistake! Oh my goodness! Alrighty, so that was Steam and Steel. Me personally, I thought the game was okay, mainly because I'm not too big into these train games. Let's talk about the objective of the game. Currently, I think it's just collecting and selling cargo to make some money, and also buying some new buildings and placing down rails to access farther destinations. When it comes to the visuals and audios, I think the game looks good. I really like the landscape that it has. And as for the audio, I'd say it got the job done. And overall, I think the game is good. And for just 240 Robux, I think it might be worth it, but only if you're into these type of games. If it has a place in a tier list, let me just put it in the B tier.